Hey, plus size travelers, are you in the mood to help a rogue scientist capture a runaway dinosaur? Let's go check out and fat test dinosaur. Welcome to Fat Tested Travel. This is Jason Vaughn, your host. I am currently 345 pounds, 5'8", and with 52-inch waist, and I fat test rides all over the world so you can know what you can be comfortable riding on. I am in Animal Kingdom today, fat testing dinosaur at the Dino Institute. For this ride, we go back in time to capture the Iguanodon. The ride was originally called Countdown to Extinction, but was changed when the animated movie came out. I'm going to show you the pre-show, the walkthrough, like this little museum area here of the Dino Institute, how to get on the ride, and the point of view of the ride itself. Now, this is a dark, dark, dark ride. It is the same vehicle as Indiana Jones in Disneyland, and because of how dark it is, you're going to have a hard time actually seeing once we get on the ride to go back in time. For parts of this queue, you can actually hear Bill Nye the Science Guy voicing and explaining different things. In the pre-show, you will meet Dr. Helen Marsh, who is played by Felicia Richard. You may know her better as Claire Huxtable. And Dr. Grant Seeker, also known as the actor Wallace Langham. By the way, you can currently catch him in the Apple TV show For All Mankind, where he plays a NASA administrator. The ride is a very jerky attraction, so if that is going to bother you, uh, please consider that. I just consider it driving around on Houston roads. When we go through the maintenance bay, look at the different pipes. There are red, yellow, and white pipes. The red is, it says RDCT, Research and Development Creative Team. The yellow is Yellow Light Proposal. And the white is WED, Walter Elias Disney Enterprises. Hello, I'm Dr. Marsh, Director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old way. That's why dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today, that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Tide, an amazing book that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's a right. But the result is a breathtaking journey. The prehistoric world will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tool that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeger, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's in the Guanadon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguana dog. Then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? As you can see, there's four seats in a row. Whatever you do, try not to get the far left side. And you can request this when being seated. That means you would be the first person in the row. So try to be the last person in the row. The belts go right to left. I recommend pulling the seatbelt all the way out, buckling it behind you, and then sitting down. 
Let's we get to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little ones. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on! I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We can't stop now. Keep going. Keep going. Compsognathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four-wheel drive. Move it. Warning. Meteor strike. Evasive maneuver. Left. Right. Left. Right. That was close. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Subscribe and check out the next video!